Hello everyone. Let's review correlation between COVID-19 and neurological disorders. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Stroke Neurology by Dr. P. N. Ranjan. Coronavirus disease 2019, as we know COVID-19, has been declared a pandemic on 11th of March 2020 by World Health Organization. One of the essential weapons to fight a pandemic of this nature is to gather as much knowledge as possible about the transmission dynamics and clinical manifestations while the quest for an effective vaccine keeps continuing. Coronavirus are a family of respiratory viruses named for the crown-like spikes on their surface. Coronavirus can cause diseases ranging from common cold to Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS. The novel coronavirus, NCOV, is a new strain of coronavirus that has not been previously identified in humans. They are notorious for mutating quickly and acquiring new qualities. It is important to be aware of the possibility of neurological manifestations of COVID-19, both during acute illness as well as the possibility of long-term effects. Neurological involvement in COVID-19 corresponds to three situations. Neurological manifestations of viral infection, post-infective neurological complications, and the infection in patients with neurological comorbidities. Neurological manifestations can further be divided into the central nervous system manifestations including headache, dizziness, impaired consciousness, ataxia, and seizure. Peripheral nervous system manifestations, including smell impairment, test impairment, vision impairment, and nerve pain. Also, the skeletal muscular injury manifestations. The damaging effects of COVID-19 may extend beyond lungs to our brains and to the mind. Neurological disorders are mostly chronic, long-term conditions. Post-infective neurological complications include demyelinating conditions, reduced mobility and dementia as comorbidities may predispose a patient to have a viral infection. Those affected may be at increased risk from COVID-19. Loss of smell and test sensation, be it temporary or permanent, is being increasingly recognized. However, this strain of coronavirus is new. The knowledge on how this will affect people with neurological disorders is still limited. Although based on evidence to date, we can assume that those with such underlying disorders may be more at risk from the virus directly, but also due to being exposed to disruptions in the healthcare provision. There are also concerns around the slowing space and prioritization of neuroscience research for our communities. We need more attention for the care of neurological patients during and after this crisis. During this hour of pandemic, neurologically ill patients deserve the attention of neurologists. The need for different groups of patients will vary according to the nature of the illness. Patients with reduced mobility and those on immune suppressant therapy may be anticipated to be more susceptible to infection. Adequate caution has to be practiced while managing chronic neurology patients, particularly those requiring immune modulator therapy since formulated guidelines are still lacking at this point. We recommend maintaining proper hygiene to reduce the risk of infection or spreading to the others. Maintain hand hygiene. Frequently and thoroughly wash your hands using soap, water or hand sanitizer. Follow coughing and sneezing protocols. Cover your mouth with a tissue when you sneeze. In case a tissue is unavailable, cover your mouth with your elbow. Wear a three-ply surgical mask if required. Elderly above 50 years of age need to take extra precautions. 
as it can lead to severe conditions in them. Contain the spread. In case if you get sick, visit the doctor, isolate yourself from others, stay at home, avoid public places and maintain distance from people. COVID-19 and stroke. Although typically considered a lung infection, COVID-19 has been found to cause blood clots that can lead to severe stroke. This can happen in any patient regardless of age, even in those with few or no symptoms at all. Patients with COVID-19 as young as 30 years are experiencing strokes, even when their symptoms were very mild. A new study released in May 2020 also found that severe inflammation from COVID-19 might lead to buildup of plaques that can increase the risk of stroke. Concerns regarding getting sick could delay the stroke treatment, but patients need the treatment. Research suggests that COVID-19 diagnosis shouldn't prevent doctors from using life-saving procedures, particularly while dealing with acute stroke. Be fast to contact your doctor when you get any of these neurological symptoms. Thank you.